Lord King, it's amazing. You're here in New York, you're at UNGA, and there was so much talk about British politics. It's been quite a week. What exactly will the end game be in all of this? Well, the end game is that the United Kingdom voted to leave the European Union. I don't think that can be reversed without having another referendum. Everyone who took part in it said they would accept the result of the referendum. And as Theresa May said, Brexit means Brexit. And an awful lot of people, I fear, are now trying to find a way of reversing it by saying, we're going to leave, but we're going to stay in the single market or customs union. Lord Lawson, the former Chancellor of the Exchequer, made a very strong point yesterday when he said that all this talk about a deal and negotiation is really beside the point. And when I go to the continent, what I find is people say, well, what negotiation? You decided to leave. You must accept the consequences. And I think that's right. And I think that the idea of sitting down and having a long, complex negotiation is one of which the UK has absolutely no control. So the UK has to be ready to leave and trade on WTO arrangements, as the US does, as China does, um, rather than pretend that somehow there is a magic uh, sun down at the, at the end of the rainbow, we're going to get down there and find some splendid deal. The European Union is a political construct and they have political objectives. The UK has never shared those political objectives and I think the idea that we're going to get uh, soft treatment from the rest of the EU is, is false. But would... We made our decision, we have to learn to stick with it. 